I've spent some time over the weekend to play with the Unity 3D engine. That was interesting. It's something that I've been meaning to do for a while because many of my favorite games have been written in Unity. Unity is hip. It is one of those game engines, the 3D graphics engines that is used uh, like one of the most widely used 3D engines on the market and it's free which is nice it kind of all follows the same business model these days that you can get the engine for free play around with it and then if you make a certain amount of money with your project then you can go and uh, give them a percentage of your income or you can pay for pro plans and so forth and so forth so I've had a good experience now with Unity and what I was most interested in is how does this thing speak to me. So a few weeks ago I've installed the Unreal Engine in a rush really. I didn't really have enough time to get going and it's a large project so it's it's one of those things it was it was ambitious at best to do this and but I did it like you know an hour and a half before I went to work and I thought why not you know, see how easy it is to get going with it and I was surprised how quickly and easy it was to get up and running and with virtually no documentation I could figure out how to load a blueprint and I had several little characters running around in a 3D environment so that was really really cool and I thought okay I need to explore this more but because Unity is the bigger engine I thought I'm gonna have a crack at that with a little bit more time and that was over the weekend so I had a look installed the thing written a long article about it on how it went and it didn't go great it uh, it worked and with a bit of a bit of help and a lot of concentration and focus I was able to make kind of a basic game out of blocks and all that out of like spheres and, and, and cubes and uh, it was a good impression of how unity ticks and essentially this is kind of my my little rundown opinion of it it's a blank canvas and you can do anything with it I guess but it's not very helpful and palatable to the creative mind. So I was more sitting there kind of cringing, thinking, oh, this is hard work to get to where I want this to be. And it just, well, it just didn't speak to me. And it's, it's, I feel really sorry for that because it's, I'm sure it's a good engine and you can do a lot of stuff with it. I felt very familiar and very happy with the coding side of things. I like that. So that was good. I, I like that. It's uh, all based on C Sharp, which is a, an extension of C, of the C language, with object-oriented kind of classes and all that. And the code looks very similar to Objective-C. So I felt instantly familiar with that. What I didn't know, of course, were the classes and the, the properties of the methods and all that. So that's something that apparently there's some kind of code completion there, but that didn't work for me. So I had no idea how to call up additional documentation other than, you know, going into Google. And that's not the point. Usually you type something of a class in that, that you know exists, and then you press some kind of keyboard combination and up comes a documentation of what the properties are what the what the methods are constructed with and then you can derive from there how you use it that's usually how coding works these days and uh, that was supposed to work in that tutorial I watched the official unity getting started kind of tutorial uh, that's how it worked for him but it didn't work for me like that so it's a shame that that didn't come installed like that bit of a bit of a shame so I never worked out how to do that but I did manage uh, to put a little project together but it was not exciting I guess that's my point it's I spent a lot of time on that and it was a lot of effort to get to something so basic that I'm thinking this is so far removed from what I intend to do with unity and uh, it just goes to show that the people who make things happen with unity they're very talented they have a lot of perseverance and they just I guess they've read a lot of documentation and watched a lot of videos but it is not something that speaks to me or to my creative mind it's not something 
that I'm thinking, hey, this is great. I mean, the, the one thing that was really off-putting is that for the dark interface, you have to you have to pay money, essentially, or hack the software. And you go, yeah, that's not really something I want to pursue here. It's just not something. It it looks like the Blender 2.4 interface, and that is something I never got into. Blender 2.79, completely different. It, even though the interface was weird, it is something that was speaking to me. And I think it's all down to how people tell you how things work. So it may be well, may well be a combination of instructor versus um, versus interface, or instructor plus interface really teaches you how to get on with things. So I remember Darren Lyle did such a good job in taking you by the hand and saying, hey, this is Blender, uh, don't judge it by, it by its interface, this is how it works, and you go and do it, and you go, ha, ah, okay, great, I'm swimming, this is cool. Um, but I didn't get the same impression with Unity. Everything was, was, was designed to, I don't know, put you off. So this morning, and I think this is why I'm telling you this, this morning I spent another hour and a half getting in touch with the Unreal Engine and see how, how that floats my boat and see if they have similar learning resources and getting started guides. And they have, and that was, that was really, really nice to get started with that. Do you know they say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade? I'm finishing work a little bit later than usual today, and I found that where I usually park my bike, there's nothing left. So somebody stole my bike. Isn't that amazing? People stealing a bike. So I still have the saddle with me. Here it is. My bike was locked. This, this is where it was. This is it. Basically, no bike anymore for me. I don't know why this happens, but I've been playing Portal 2 and there was this wonderful scene there where the, where the head of the institution, I forgot his name, the Cave Johnson, that was him, he in one of those pre-recorded messages says, when life gives you lemonade, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, screw that man, demand that life take the lemons back, demand a better life, that's what I feel like. So yeah, no bike for me, no more bike videos for a while because of course the GoPro attachment was on there and that's difficult to replace to get a new one. I don't even know where, that, where I got that from. And I just had it serviced, you know, crazy. I don't know why these things happen. Does that, is that necessary? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 